Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going over starting out as a new player in Mortal Online 2 and focusing on those who want to play mainly with bows and high dexterity like movement speed and stamina. A lot of the things in this guide could be followed for any type of character you'd want to make, but in this guide I'm going over everything with a focus on those really interested in archery. Before we begin, please know that I'm new to the game myself and only just started getting into it a few days ago, so not everything I say or do will be the best option, but I've found the game to be truly incredible at this point in development and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And while I'm still learning, I thought I could help newer players out at the same time with some of the basics, which I hope some will find helpful. Starting off, if you want to play mainly as an archer on foot, like I know a lot of people do, you'll probably want to go with the Alvarin race. This race is known for having high dexterity, which means you can outrun and outlast your opponents when it comes to getting away or hunting down an enemy. I am by no means an expert here, but I've been happy with the stats I've picked, and they're based off of Wolfsight's foot archer build guide, but just changed a bit so that the character is fit instead of being stout. That's pretty much the only difference here, and it gives you a little bit less health and less strength, but a little bit more dexterity. If you like watching guides like this, subscribe and like this video as I'll be making more, but I'd also highly recommend watching the videos made by Wolfside, as he's made a ton of really great ones, and I've learned a lot from those. If you're watching this, thanks for making those Wolfside. There's a link to his channel in the description, and I highly recommend checking it out. So with all of that out of the way, the first thing you're going to want to do once you've made your character is enter the world for the first time. This will bring you to Haven, an instanced island for beginners where there's no PvP. If you're completely new, I'd highly recommend following the in-game tutorial step by step when you first start out, but if you don't want to for any reason, this guide will cover many of the basics anyway. First off, once you're in the game, tap C to load up your character window, and then left click and hold to drag your sword to one of the keybinded action bars. I usually have my sword bound to the number 2, but you can put it anywhere you like. Next, tap L to bring up your skills menu and drag the first skill you see there, called Rest, to another part of the action bar. Those two are all we need for now. So now the first thing I'd recommend doing while still in Haven is going right to the graveyard outside the city, which is about a 2 minute walk. Hold Shift to sprint and you'll notice that as you run, your yellow stamina bar at the top left will go down. Keep sprinting until it's empty and then just tap your key binding to activate the rest ability. You'll regain stamina slowly while running without sprinting, fast by standing still, and fastest by resting. When your stamina bar is topped up again, go ahead and keep running until you get to the graveyard. From here, you're going to want to take out your sword by tapping X and then kill a few zombies to collect their heads. When attacking, you can swing your weapon in four different ways, just by moving the mouse left, right, up or down before clicking. The longer you click and hold, the more powerful your attack will be. You'll be able to see which direction an attack is going based on the animations, and can block attacks in a similar way by just dragging your mouse and holding the right click. If you block an attack successfully, your next fully charged attack will be way quicker, and you won't have to hold down the left click as long to fully charge the next attack. Feel free to practice this as you kill the zombies and kill them until you've looted about 15 heads. When you kill a zombie, they'll drop a little brown bag, look at it and hold R to loot it, and then just right click on the head and anything else and it will go right into your bag. But don't loot the body or the meat itself as it's not really worth much and is really heavy. Just loot the heads and anything else that drops. As you kill the zombies, you'll gain clades experience. Clades are like your talents. As you level up your clades, you'll have access to more talents which are unique to every race. Alvarins have a lot of really useful talents that just make them better with movement and archery in general. I'd recommend picking the ones you see me picking here, but you can pick any that you'd like. Once you've done that, drag the two active buff ones, those are the green ones, to your action bar. One will make you run 10% faster, and the other will increase your stamina regen rate and make you run 3% faster, and they should stack. These are great for getting away or chasing down an enemy. Once you've got about 15 heads, go outside the graveyard and run to the pig farm area. Here there are a lot of pigs that you can kill. Kill these and loot them, and then right click on the big stack of meat or carcass that you get. Hold down the butcher button and you'll receive some meat and other materials. Drop the meat as it's the heaviest part and the main thing we'll really need from these pigs will be leather and amalgi. We're going to use the leather to craft a full set of armor and the amalgi to craft a really nice bow. 
I recommend getting at least about a thousand leather and 300 amalgi. Once you have that, head back to town. If you want to get less, you can, but with that amount, you'll be able to make more than one armor set and more than one bow. On your way back, remember to sprint and rest when you're out of stamina, then sprint again. As you get back into town, go right to the cooking vendor and hold R to interact with him. Right click on the heads to offer them and then tap accept to sell them. You should get about 3 gold for 15 heads, which will be enough for what you'll need next. Now we're gonna head to the library, which is where you can buy books which are basically used to learn specific skills for your character. It's in the northern part of town and you'll know it's the right place when you see the big wooden sign just outside which has a picture of an open book. Head inside and go to the crafting librarian, hold R and look for the bow crafting skills. You'll want to left click on the icon of each book you're going to buy and we'll need bowery, self bows, composite bows, recurve bows and short bows. In total for those 5 books it should cost about 1 gold and 30 silver. Now the reading begins. Right click on the bowery book and your character will begin passively reading it over time. Tap C to see your character window and you'll notice a timer of 999 hours. Don't worry about that, it won't take that long to learn the skill. These skills are learned passively over time, even when you're logged out. Kind of like in EVE Online, another sandbox MMORPG. But right now, before the full release of the game, everything is set to 100 times faster. You'll be able to learn all those books within about an hour. It takes some time unfortunately, but at the end, you'll be able to craft a really awesome bow, especially for a brand new character. In the meantime, head on over to the crafting stations on the other side of town. Here we're going to craft a full set of decent armor. Go to the armor crafting table and hold R to bring up the crafting menu. From here we're going to use all that leather you've obtained from murdering pigs and their families and make yourself a nice pair of leather boots and other gear pieces. Click on head armor, then Caladian padded helm, and then right click on the leather in your bag to select that as the core material. Right click it again to also select it as the padding material. After that you'll see two sliders allowing you to use extra leather for the core and padding of the helmet, which will make it even stronger. Slide it all the way to the right, then click and hold the hold to craft button to craft it. Next do the same for each other piece of gear, including the torso or chest piece, the left and right arm pieces, and the boots. Once the full set of gear is completed, Close the crafting window, open up the character window by tapping C and your inventory by pressing I and then right click each piece of gear and you'll put it all on and look like a badass. Well, compared to before when you were just running around pretty much naked at least. Don't use the rest of your leather yet if you still have some as you'll need it later to craft more sets of gear and if you do it now you won't be able to bring it with you once you leave Haven. You can bring the leather though and then craft more armor sets later on with that. By this time you should be ready to leave Haven. To do this head to the center of town and find the two little statues. Go to the one that says travel to Merlin and when you look at it hold R to interact with it. Make sure your armor is equipped and drag your gold and silver into the item window as well as your leather and amalgi. Add in as many books as you can too. I made a bit of a mistake here when recording this and had to rebuy one or two books but that's fine. Once you're ready, you just need to make a choice of which starting city you'd like to go to. I've only started out in Fabenum so far and it has pretty much the same layout as Haven so I'd recommend going there. It's well populated and a nice starting area. But I haven't tried the others yet so if you're not sure you'd like to start there, feel free to go anywhere else. There are bandits around there sometimes but you shouldn't have too much trouble. And you could find bandits anywhere at any time. It's also the default location that shows up here so most new players will probably be starting off in Fabenum too. Once that's done it will log you out of the game but don't worry that's part of the process. Just log back in and you'll now be in Fabenum which looks exactly the same as Haven. Don't get confused though you're now in the real world. Press C to check your character window and all your gear should be there. If your book isn't showing up on your character window anymore that means you've completed reading your first book. We'll need to head to the bank. Now let's head to the bank to pick up your leather, amalgi, books and gold. Open up your inventory by tapping I and right click another one to continue learning the skills needed to make an awesome bow. Keep checking your character pane every now and then so you're able to begin reading the next book as soon as the other one is completed. If you're missing any books as you couldn't bring one or two over when traveling to Fabenum, 
just head to the library again and buy the missing ones from the crafting librarian. Next, head to the equipment vendor and buy a pickaxe and a woodcutting axe. These are just basic tools you might want to have once you leave town and begin your journey. It all depends on what you really want to do though. If you want to use them, just find any tree or rock outside, equip them and then tap R to begin woodcutting or mining. We won't really go further into that in this video though, but now just head to the utilities vendor and buy about 150 broadhead arrows, or as many as you'd like. Broadhead arrows do more damage than bodkin arrows and are more expensive, but they're not really that expensive anyway. Don't buy longbow arrows as those should only be used with longbows and you'll mainly be using short bows at all times. Next, head to the crafting stations again and go to the armor crafting table once more if you still have leather. Craft as many sets of gear as you can and run back to the bank to deposit them. You can organize these however you'd like and put some armor sets next to each other so they're easy to get out fast when you die. And trust me, at some point you will die. From inside the city, nobody will attack you because the guards would attack them right away and are really strong. But once you head out and go to the graveyard or anywhere else, be aware of players who will sometimes try to kill you and take your loot. You'll learn about this over time, but the best thing about being an Alvarin is that once you level up your dexterity a bit more, it will be really easy for you to run away and outrun pretty much anyone, as long as they don't have a mount. When you do have a mount, you'll also be able to outrun them with that too. For now, don't worry about that anyway. You'll learn about all this stuff over time. Just check your reading progress on the character pane by pressing C every now and then to make sure that you keep learning those books until at least the composite bow skill is at level 50. Once it is, you can right click on it in the character pane to stop learning it. Then right click on the next book, which is recurve bows. Train this skill for about 15 seconds or so, and you'll see a pop-up message saying that you've learned recurve bow mechanics. I made a bit of a mistake here and thought you needed more books, but it seems like that's all you need. After that, you should be ready to craft your first bow. Reading the other books will help you level your bow crafting, but they don't seem to actually be needed for the bow we're going to make here. Go to the bow crafting table and click on recurve bow, then short bow, and then select single material. Right click on your amalgi and click and hold the hold to craft button. Now you've made your first bow. Make as many as you'd like and drag one of the bows from your inventory to another action bar. This will help when it comes to swapping weapons fast during a fight. Press X to take out your weapon and try swapping between weapons using your keybinds to get the hang of it. Open your inventory by pressing I and right click on a stack of the arrows you bought to equip them, adding them to your quiver or ammo stack. One more thing you'll need to do that I forgot to mention is open up your clade gifts by tapping C and going to the clade gifts tab then click the unlearn button and relearn the skills to make sure you pick the two archer's arm clades. These will increase your effective strength when it comes to using bows so you can actually use the bow that you just crafted. Now your adventure can begin. This is a sandbox MMORPG so there aren't any quests for you to do. Just go and do your thing. The main places to know about for now are the graveyard you went to previously and further up along that road a tower that you'll see which is a dungeon with more of the same zombies but it's a lot bigger and a lot scarier. You'll see plenty of people around and for the most part they're friendly but you'll get people who will try to kill you too so you need to learn how to defend yourself early on. That will come with time, but for now just go out into the world and do what you'd like. A good early goal would be to save up around 10 gold so that you can buy a horse, so you might want to focus on that next. You can try to make that money through any way you'd like, including even killing other players for their loot if you're up for the challenge. Keep in mind though, if you kill enough players, you won't be welcomed back into the city by the guards until you do some other tasks to increase your standing or reputation with them. It's a whole thing. Just don't kill more than 5 people unless you're prepared to do that and know what you're in for. Also, don't be afraid to use voice chat if you're able to. You can set a keybind in the settings and a ton of people use voice chat in this game which is great and makes it a lot more fun. Anyway, that's it for this video guys, I hope it helps some of you out there. Please subscribe if you liked it and want to see more and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.